going on everyone? Uh, finished the Rugged Race Radio enclosure for our Segway villain. Uh, nothing existed, so we reached out to the guys over at Rugged and uh, they allowed us to go ahead and R&D this. Now, I don't know if this is what they're gonna use, but we're gonna go ahead and ship this off to them and let them do some reverse engineering. Now that the parameters are set for the width and the lengths and the heights, uh, the rest is up to them, but this is what we came up with. Hope you guys like it. It was a little bit of work. I'm not a big time fabricator anymore, but I have some basic skills. So this is version two. I think we nailed the shape. If you start looking at everything, um, it all kind of flows. It sits underneath the dash bar. This is a click to fit system, which I'm really stoked on. Um, right now, the push pins that go there and right there are off, but you got all the radiuses right, so everything has a compound radius to it. It kind of flares out and then it tips in, it swales down and rolls out. Um, the fuse panel, let me get this right here for y'all, is located directly underneath this. So in an effort to kind of keep it simple, which is never simple, uh, for the end user meant that uh, everything had to be removable. So this is what we came up with and it uses the factory lid, believe it or not, with a 16 gauge steel plate over that so then I could template and form all this. But you need to get your fuses, which are located right here on the Segway Villain. It's pretty simple. You remove your two pin pops, pick up on the plate, the plunger or the plastic finger that engages releases it slides out and you rotate it out and over you can see everything is right here for your fuse box we located the rugged filter in the location where the actual winch was since we have relocated the winch to the face plate now you really have no reason to get in here unless you have to replace a fuse now you may be asking where is the stx you know, the driver to passenger communications, your Bluetooth, all that stuff. Well, it's down here. Let me show you. See where we've mounted the rugged race radio filter. Uh, it's in the location where the winch actually was, which was down here. So we've moved the winch. It has plenty of lead on it. It's on the faceplate in the enclosure now. It's pretty sick. And the Bluetooth rocker switch is located right at your fingertip, right where you would expect it, right here. Which is pretty cool. Now this isn't an effort to save space since there isn't a lot of space on the Segway and it can be difficult to work with things. This is pretty cool how that all just pops over and gives you access to the fuse panel. No big modifications are needed. Hopefully the system will come, you know, plug and play and you just basically transfer some holes. So the glove box on the Segway is massive. Like it is, it is massive. It's about a foot and a half deep to the wall, it's very tall, it drops back down and up. So we mounted the rugged STX rocker switch brain right here, all the leads will go out and through the center console and you'll have your headset comms there and there and the actual Bluetooth switch swirls up, drops down into the center console and boom, there you go. Pretty clean, convenient, didn't take up too much space on the glove box, didn't have to disassemble anything and uh, pretty stoked on that. Hope you all enjoy it. Uh, again, uh, we don't do this for a living. This is uh, you know, something I did, I took on, and had a lot of fun doing. Put the camera back down, I'll show you how that clicks on. So putting it back in is pretty simple. You tuck your, your cables back in. To pick this up, we're just gonna make sure nothing's in the way. Everything just kind of slides back in. The two tabs locate it from the factory right here. Make sure there's no cables underneath. I think we're good. That's it. You just push it down. It clips in to the factory lid and the two pin pops go right there. That's it. Pretty simple. Just not so simple. All right, guys. Looks like there's gonna be some radio communications coming our way for the Segway. Pretty stoked on that. So we're gonna turn our attention to the build. And I'm really pumped on that, so 
Make sure you guys keep it locked into the stories, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube page, it's growing and we're uploading like videos every day. And if you get a chance, you should subscribe to be a VIP. That's where the bangers happen. It's where you're gonna save the most money. And uh, we have a lot of fun showcasing some new stuff in there that not everyone gets to see. So until next time, life's a ride. Make it your own.